Hey everybody, welcome here today. We are on Small Business Colorado Facebook group with GKC Management. This is our, actually our second time doing this type of interview. Uh, a world of knowledge, a world of, of information in taxes, accounting, bookkeeping, and when you're a broke small business owner like me and a bunch of other people in this group, we need all the help we can get. Welcome. Thank you. Thank I'm you. Katie, this is Grant. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Tell us a little bit about your background and, and what you guys do uh, in Colorado. Well, we, uh, we really specialize in small businesses um, and kind of what sets us apart from other accounting firms or bookkeeping firms or companies is we don't just necessarily give everyone just a cookie cutter style um, plan. We actually specialize and hone in, in on their business and what they need specifically for their business to succeed. Um, Katie here has over 14 years of experience of bookkeeping and accounting, um, and she's a certified uh, accountant for QuickBooks. So she has her uh, a certification through QuickBooks and all that great stuff. Um, and she's the guru. I'm kind of like the marketing and all the social, all that good stuff. But uh, moving forward is we like to specialize in small businesses. Not only do we do their bookkeeping or accounting, we like to hone in and give them a success plan so that down the road, they have something to work for and when they want to expand or grow, they're going to have the money to do so. So they have uh, uh, everything in, in order for them. So that's, that's a very interesting point as a small business owner. Uh, somebody might only be thinking about the marketing side. Somebody might only be thinking about the bookkeeping side, yep. but yep. well, who's thinking about the growth? Who's thinking about capital? And, and exactly. I didn't even know this was a thing where, you know, a husband and wife team, some cool people are like, hey, we have our small business too. Let's work with your small business. And, and I, I was in business for a lot of years. I knew about accountants. I knew about bookkeepers and everything, but I thought you had to go to like a firm and it was this expensive process. So what does it look like if a small business owner is like, hey, I'm new to this. How can I work with you? Uh, so I kind of cater to budget. So accounting is not black and white. There's a lot of gray. So you can say, I don't like knowing how much I'm spending. I don't want to budget. I just want you to make sure that my accounts are reconciled and I know that it's getting taken care of. There's people that want to see every single transaction that goes in their business. So there's a lot that goes into bookkeeping. Having an accountant also doesn't need to be expensive as well. I mean, if you tell me I have $900 to spend this month on it, I will do what I need to do to make sure that you stay within that budget. Um, if you're a new business just starting out, it is super important that you at least talk to an accountant and sit down for a consult, get some information of how you want to set yourself up for success. Um, if you start from the get-go, you keep things clean, you know you're on track, you know how much to save, you know how much you can spend. It's really important for the growth of your business because your first year is so important that you have these things dialed in and honed in on. So at least get the information that you need from a bookkeeper or an accountant just so that you can set What's the up. cost of uh, that consultation and what type of information does somebody need before they're ready at that level? You can honestly say that you have an idea of starting a business and you can sit down with a bookkeeper. Um, our consultations are free. So oh. you have one hour with me to pretty much get your entire brain filled of information. So I just want to make sure that, I mean, I started my own business. I know the steps to do so. Grant's been a huge help in doing that with me as well. So he's also that book of knowledge of what you need to do with the NLLC and how you set these things up. And this, is, this, yep. this is not even staged, okay? This is not rehearsed. I actually have a client for you. One of my clients uh, was asking me, she's brand new. She just got her machine. She got her, her items for her business. She's ready to go. And yep. she's like, George, dude, what do I do about the bookkeeping part, the CPA part? And I'm like, <laughs> let me find out. And then we had set this call up, but now that we're talking about it, I'm like, oh yeah. Oh yeah, well, yeah, my friend Shara, oh yeah, she, she has Goldmine, like she has a business, she has AMG Design. She actually starting two little small businesses. Uh, she was a recipient, here's what's amazing, she was a recipient, one of only 100 in California that got the $50,000 SBA loan during COVID. Wow. Oh, wow. That's so, awesome. and, and, and what makes it even better now uh, for credibility and, and, and like as far as the knowledge and experience for doing this, I'm going to give her as a lead to you. And now your business, GKC, is, is, is going to have the experience of dealing with an SBA $50,000 loan and the accounting and the bookkeeping and getting it in order uh, because she's not shopping and like looking for a person. She needs a person. Right. Right. And yeah. why not you? 
So, so we'll, we'll, we'll make that one happen. That that's really, that's what these conversations are about. <laughs> that, that's yeah. everybody knows somebody, but I didn't even realize, and, and I'm a business professional. I didn't realize that she can, I didn't think she was ready. That's the thing. I did not think she was at a place structure wise to come and talk to you. But now that you're like, no, dude, you have the idea, you have whatever you, you're our, you need to already come talk to us. Well, and see, starting your own business, you really have to make sure you have a structure in place. So you don't build a house without a foundation. Um, and the foundation of a house is absolutely the first, first thing you want to worry about. And it's got to be the most important thing. So talking with an, uh, an accountant or a bookkeeper and really getting that kind of consultation with them. The one, if, even if you don't retain us, we, we, we're going to give you the steps and, and just know what to do the next, the next step pretty much. So Katie's going to walk you through that. Now, if, if we think you guys are, are ready or if they want to go with us, that's fine, but we want to make sure that they're going to be ready for us. And then the one hour consultation, obviously it's free, but that's also us trying to catering to them, go over all the things that they need or go over their books, see what it's, what it's going to take. Um, and also kind of, uh, specialize it to their business. So, yeah, that, that, that's a, great point we we now as a small business owner uh self-employed person can say i have a little team i have some backup i can ask a question and it's not like this extra consultation fee no you're my bookkeeper you're my accountant that's why we do business that's why i'm that's why i see value you're solving a problem for me i'm giving you money and and i trust you to, to be like hey this is what's going on what do you think and yep. and it makes so much sense. You see the numbers, you know, the numbers, you're doing the things nobody wants to deal with at all. <laughs> I'm yep. serious. Like yeah, it's crazy. Know, all my friends are True. crazy, creative hippies. They, you know, <laughs> if they see a number, oh, dude, they don't, they don't want to have nothing. They're photographers, they're filmmakers, cinematographers, actors, talent, voiceover specialists, cartoon creators. And, but on a small independent level, so this isn't like the Hollywood version. They're just doing, they're like, hey, wait a minute. There's an independent world out here. So they're doing it, but they realize, wow, this is entertainment business. And it's about, it's, it's like 90% business yep. and 10% of that's little show part of it where the entertainment's going on. So this is really cool. Uh, talk to me about recovery. People are hurting right now. Many people are straight out. They're out of business. Uh, it's a sad reality. My own friends and I got to look them in the eye and, and there's some fear. There's some anger. There's some, there's some, uh, whatever, uh, pain, but yes. moving forward, uh, d these are our people like we're in business because we love other business people. This is our tribe. This is our wolf pack. We are this. Uh, I don't think you're planning on ever going to get a nine to five corporate style job in the future. I don't plan on doing it and kind of the people we know are those types of people, types of people. Yeah. but the people who do have those jobs, they think they look at us like, Whoa, how do those guys do it? That's weird. Like, you know, what do you mean? You don't have a paycheck. I'm like we don't, <laughs> we hustling. We don't. <laughs> so that's why it's so important for the people who, who maybe uh, they took a little dive right now. We got to bring them back. I think they a lot of people they are they didn't lose their experience, right? They didn't lose their knowledge. What can we do? Talk about recovery. I think a lot of people fail to see that there's so many disaster relief programs right now. So the SBA is great as well, but there's so many other different resources out there. People fail to put the two and two together between an accountant and getting out of debt right now. So I can't recover from this financially. My credit's taking a beating. These things are going to affect my long term. Can I even open my doors? So a lot of people fail to say, hey, maybe I should talk to somebody because anywhere from like your insurance, they are allowing relief on that. They're giving people six months extensions. They're waiving fees. They're taking things and pushing them back. Mortgages, same thing. Picking up the phone, making the call. Office expenses, your landlord, picking up the phone, making a call. People don't realize that there is help out there in accounting to make sure they get back on track to you know, give them six months to rebuild their credit, apply for these loans, go to these disaster relief sites, plug in your information, give them all of your you know, bills that are upcoming, that are past due, consolidating that down and making a game plan to move forward. So there's, there's so much out there and I've done so much research in the last couple months and just reading all of these tools, 
I know how at this point to set you up for success to make sure that you can open your doors. Or if you have opened your doors, what you need to do to make sure you can still be successful. That's huge. That's huge. I didn't even think of that, that way of like the accountant helps you get out of debt, hopefully not get into debt, but now you're in trouble. Your mind's cloudy. Mm-hmm. You're, I, I was in the army. It's like, it's as if uh, there's a soldier out there and he's in the foxhole there's dust. You can't see what's going on. But if you're the general back here, you're the captain. You're like, you get to see the whole battlefield. You get to see the whole big picture. Well, and see, that's the thing is when you have an accountant, you have someone who's guiding you, you have someone making the phone calls for you, taking the extra steps for you or for your business and able to really kind of take and give you a structured plan and on not just, hey, we're, we're going to get you out of debt. We're going to get you out of debt and be successful to where you're going to get back to the green and start making that income that, that you need to not only stay in business and pay your employees, but make money on top of that. So Yeah, that, that, that all ties in really great with the, the plan that you have. Yeah. With, with the accountant doing the debt relief, it's like, hey, in my business, if I would have profited, let's say in my small business, $20,000 in the next six months, right? Yep. Your debt relief with, with mortgage, with all of these other programs, with this, 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 what if that adds up to $20,000? It's like, so, it's, you got to sit down and really look at what's going to cater to that type of business. And I think people are afraid to make the phone call because they're like, I can't afford to breathe right now. People are extraordinarily depressed, depressed. They have anxiety. Those are things that people don't want to deal with because they're in pricey right now. And people don't know if they'll ever be able to recover. They're afraid to make the first step. Oh my so, goodness. The mental health relief bookkeeper. <laughs> yeah. I'm That's not what's a up. <laughs> Let's just tell the, I am my own issue. You're like, not we'll just share problems. <laughs> right? You talk about yours, I talk about mine, yeah. it'll be fine, I do your numbers well. I, I love what one of my mentors tells me. He's like, George, every time you think there's a problem, imagine being in a room and everybody puts <laughs> their problems in a hat and you choose a problem and you look at it, you're going to want your own problems back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, good points, good points. <laughs> I like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, so, so it, it, it's like, it humbles me and it keeps things in perspective uh, for sure. Uh, this is really great. The, the, I love the fact that you're like a backup team. It's this little team that in the shadows lurking back there who got my back. And, and in the most important sector, finances, it's the number one thing. It's the liquid that keeps the, the, the business going. Yes. And, and I have yes. to have my thumb on the pulse of it. I can't just be a photographer. I can't just be an indie filmmaker. I can't just own Fulton Film Company. And I don't know how much money is going to Square, how much is going to PayPal, how much is going over here, over there. Like, I don't even know the fees I'm losing, the percentages. It's crazy. But that's how we do it. That's how my community does it right now. Yep. So, so I want to do more and more of these educational videos. I want to introduce more and more of my friends to you. I want to get your faces and your brand to be yep. more of a local known name uh, because people need to know you. You're actually, you, you are the solution to that gray, dark cloud, that smoky area in their life right now. But they think it costs a lot of money to come see you. It's not. It's a free consultation. Come on, guys. Like, hey, small business owner, it's a one-hour free consultation. And, and they're like, well, why would they do it that way? I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna, to, is it okay if I give up your secret, you guys? <laughs> I'm going to give it up. Please. If they do this for 10 people for free, one person will want to do business with them. And that 10 hours is now worth it. So, exactly. hey, if you're one of these nine over here that, that just got the one-hour consultation and never did business with them, so you got some education. They're in the business of educating people. <laughs> like, that's how this works. Uh, so that's, that's really, really cool. Uh, let's talk about COVID-19 moving forward. What, what do you think is happening? What's going on with business? Where's your head at? What do, what do you, what's your strategy to help people? Or where are you guys in well, that Well, we are getting to the point where the – the deadline is about to be cut off if they're going to start it. I mean, they're still accepting PPP loans. 
So that deadline is coming up real quick. So that option is about to be ruled off the table. Who knows if it's going to change? They might reopen it again just because there's still so much debt out there and people are just losing their business. So that could open up again. They've already done it another round. So I can't imagine that they wouldn't do a third round. Um, but the SBA loans right now, they are killer good interest rates out there. Killer good. Easier now what's a, to what's get a them, good interest even rate if right your credit has taken a beating. What's so, a for example, rate? 150,000 loan, you're looking at about a 3.75. They're also pushing it out where you're getting mortgage terms. So 30, 15 year loan time, that's huge for people. So that what do you takes, need to qualify for that? Depends. So where your business was sitting before COVID is going to base solely on what you're going to get approved for. So if you're bringing in, you know, a hundred grand last year, you're easily going to get approved for 15 to 25,000. So a lot of the factors like with your credit and where your business has been this year, they're going off before disaster when they're asking for this information. So where you were at before all of this happened is going to be the factor of how you're going to get approved. Okay. So let me ask you, what if somebody's a owner, operator, truck driver, and, you know, they do big numbers, but they don't keep a lot because they're always uh, fuel and everything, whatever. And they do need this 100000 75000 whatever, and they, and they want to get terms. Would, would a business like a truck driver, single truck, qualify for something like this as far as you know? So based off like what a profit and loss would show, you can see all of your income coming in for that year, where your expenses are at you need to also hone in on the fact that your expenses are now obviously probably less because you're not able to do as much work. If you're a truck driver, you could definitely probably still be working, but you're looking at your total line item of income brought in. So yes, you're going to have your losses in there, your expenses, all of that. That's going to be approved on the income coming in and where they can see that return. So if you only actually made $25,000 last year, even though you actually brought in 175, that means that your actual income is that. That's what they're going to go off. Okay. So that's a factor to keep in mind. So if you made $2, even though you brought in 200,000, you're going to have a hard time getting approved for these loans. So Understood. how are we going to move forward progressively to show better income? Where can we cut costs and expenses? Where can we hide things to make your position be a better one to be in in the next three months? So yes, we Le might not legally, be <laughs> legally, legally, yes. yes. Um, but where we need to be at in, say, three months is a really good target goal for a lot of people. Where can we cut expenses so we can use your current 2020s to work in your advantage? Now, when are taxes due for July this 15th. year? July 15th. July 15th? That's okay. coming up. Biz. That's coming up. What can a small business person do who's not prepared at all? What are like five actionable things, a few things they can start to do and say, here, oh, my God. And they can still meet the deadline. What, what can best help people right now? So if you're self-employed, if you're 1099, it's really important to go through your 2019 financials, making sure you've reconciled, you have tracked all of your transactions through your account, you've categorized them. Easiest way, honestly, is like QuickBooks. You can do that through an Excel spreadsheet. Um, however you need to do it, that's easier for you. That is going to be your biggest prep for tax. So you need to see what your actual income is from the previous year after expenses, after everything, because that's what your business income is going to be. That's what your 1099 income is going to be. So honing in and figuring out where you're actually at for 2019 is the easiest way to start going through your bank statements, getting all printed off. You can actually do it through most bank sites is downloading your transactions directly into Excel and making sure you're categorizing those properly. So if you guys are good at Excel, if you're not a good at Excel, I can give you reports and spreadsheets for that. It makes it super easy to track. As long as you have that, you're ready to go. Taxes really don't take that long. So that's so that's a really good little gem right there that most small business people probably would not know is go to your bank's website, download your 2019 transactions, which you can do on an Excel sheet, and now you own this. Now you have a pretty good darn start to go see somebody and, or start doing the work of separating these accounts. What's fuel? What's this? What's that? Start doing some of the work. Yes. Uh, what if what if I want to try to position myself uh, to purchase a car or a house or something for next year? Is there anything different that I do? I mean, I'm I'm talking as I'm preparing the organization within the legal parameters of the law. Uh, what do I do as a self-employed person to to better position myself? Like I might not know about business credit or this or that or uh, what can I do within the taxes to help myself be better positioned in 2020 or 2021 to uh, purchase something? 
I think realistically, this is where it comes down to get yourself in front of an accountant or a consultant. Um, you need to set yourself up at least with a budget. Budgets okay. are probably my bread and butter. I love doing them. Analyzing what you did for the last 12 months from the date that you decide that I want to buy a car. I need to have this much money down where you need to see where you can cut your expenses. You can pull up your account. You can say, I spent $10,000 in July last month on dumb stuff like meals, entertainment. I went out, I got lift, I, got, I did all these things. What do I need to do differently this month to make that 5,000 so I can put 2,000 in saving? You still give yourself wiggle room. You still make sure that you're successful and how do I hold these funds? Mm -hmm. Separated from myself so that I can start preparing for this. If my credit is taking a toll, what do we need to do? How can we analyze what's going on in your credit to make those moves progressive? So if you need to pay off a credit card or you have a couple medical bills you got behind or whatever it may be, forward to make sure that you can do these things, you can make these purchases. That's amazing. Uh, I think that's really good info for, for a brand new business, small business owner. That's a good start. Uh, you guys, I appreciate your time here today. We went over some COVID. We went over some uh, disaster recovery. We went over planning and we went over uh, taxes. Uh, this, is, this is a good start. Like I said, you got one client from just from doing this video. And, and, and that's the whole point of this. The whole point of this because the person I'm putting you in contact with is a good friend of mine. And she has children and I want to grow older knowing her family and her children. And, and I'm going to say, hey, my friends uh, help me do this. So that's pretty cool. Uh, thank you for doing what you're doing. Uh, I know a lot of small business owners don't have the time to go research all this stuff and stay up on all this new information. Uh, so, yeah. so by you guys going out there and doing that for us, the Carters, thank you. Uh, we really appreciate uh, GKC management and, and really I appreciate your contributions to the uh, small business in Colorado Facebook group. Uh, it's a little post here and there, but it's thought provoking to me. I'm, I'm, I have business, I have people who I know I have whatever, and as I'm thumb flicking, scrolling through, I'm like, hey, the post makes me stop and read it. So, so look at the marketing guy smiling. <laughs> He's like, yeah, I did that. <laughs> I did, that was no, me. That was, that was my copyright. <laughs> uh, no, me? Uh, yeah, who, me? <laughs> no, but. Well, no, and that, my, that's just it. We, we want to bring more education to, to our fellow business owners as well, instead of just thinking profit, profit, profit. But if we help everybody around us, instead of just thinking about ourselves, everybody flourishes, just like you and your friend uh, with, with her business. You're really doing it the right way. You continue to add value, and I encourage you to do more of that. Thank you guys a lot. Uh, we'll see you on the next one. Appreciate you. Yeah, Appreciate you. Guys. Thank you, guys. Bye. You're welcome. Bye.